Pregame.tv, Washington Redskins, how far are they going to go in the upcoming playoffs? Are they going to make the playoffs? 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 Are they going to make the playoffs <laughs> is the question. The team was 3-6 and six going into week 10 last year so after the bye. So there is a line actually at the win here locally and also up at Aliante. Well, yes or no, and I'm sure a couple other places probably have it in faraway places. Will the team make the playoffs on the, on the Redskins and, and other teams? I'm going to be talking about the Redskins. Before I do that, I would be remiss. Moment of silence, a winning streak got snapped, one of the greatest winning streaks in modern sports era. Joey Chestnut. Lost. Went lost. down. Uh, and of all things. Dumpling. Dumpling eating that was, that was his weakness, his Achilles heel. No doubt some people were laying minus 1,600 on Joey. Free money. Free money till the dumplings got him. He ate 251 dumplings. This was really disappointing. Because not only did weakness. he lose by just a couple dumplings, I had the grand dumpling under. <laughs> I had under. I, I, I'm sorry. I had over 1,325 dumplings for the top seven contestants. And I lost by just two dumplings because Joey. Chestnut. He mailed this sucker in. He did mail it There's in. Supports. Now, people say like a running back, they say a competitive eater. It's the, your 20s where you kick butt. Once you hit that age 30, people are looking to jettison your expensive contract. They know your best days are behind you. There are no 40-something old competitive eaters. And even in their 30s, your days are numbered. So They're starting to fix eating, food eating contests. No, all you out there are getting all this stuff. You're checking the humidity for the over-unders. How many dogs are gonna, they're, they're, they're going to go put down? There might be one or two good uh, years left for Joey, but his best days are behind I, him, I, I agree. believe. I this agree. dumpling thing. Disturbing. We saw Kobayashi, right? Yes. We yes. saw him come and go. Chestnuts R next. Let's talk about RG3 and where his status is. Some peculiar things going on in the marketplace. People don't really like the Philadelphia Eagles. They're betting the Eagles under. Under 7.5. Every wise guy 30. I know betted under. Every wise guy I know. The feeling is the defense is going to be furious <laughs> at, this, at all these. Oh, you got to play 90 plays <laughs> instead of 70 because our offense is so going to do career, a hurry up. Your career and your $8 million per year just, just that's, a couple less years of that $8 million. That's right. I can just see the players at home. It's like that new coach going to This is going to cost killed, me $25 man. million. And he's, he's gonna and I'm going to be in a wheelchair. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You fake an injury, you do whatever it is. You, you, play, you play your 65 plays. <laughs> yeah. But despite that, they're cutting in line to bet the Eagles week one, plus four and a half and even plus four against these Redskins in Washington. And what that tells me is somebody knows. RG not too healthy. RG3 not too healthy. Maybe he plays, maybe not even a lock that he does play. And if he plays, I don't maybe think he's 100%. No more read option? No. Now he's just a drop back a quarterback? A pocket quarterback? That's not going to be the, the, the RG3 that went 7 and 0 after week 10 in the bye, after their bye to get to the playoffs. And look at some of these teams that they went ahead and got to play. They have Dallas twice, crippled Philly team twice. Beat New Orleans week one with that. Remember when they didn't know who was coaching the Yeah, team? yeah. Tampa Bay, Cleveland, the Vikings, they were overrated. Not exactly murderers row. I agree. And, and this year, the, uh, all the credit went to RG3, and, and deservedly so. I mean, you know, he was the offensive rookie of the year, not by accident. But if you look at the Washington season, I think that six, uh, um, sixth round draft choice, um, that running back, Alfred Morris, who Third in, in, He's a in, great NFL, in NFL history for rookies, their yardage, you know, in their first year. I, I don't think he's going to be overlooked this season. I think he was very, you know, uh, more or less when defenses were getting ready for the Washington Redskins, it was all RG3, RG3, RG3. No one's really looking at, at Alfred Morris. I think this year they're going to be looking at him. He was not a sixth-round draft pick by accident. I don't mean it bad, but you're not a sixth-round draft choice by accident. Man. Brady was fifth round. Yeah, he went to Michigan, that was, though, that too. Was, that was Brady. And yeah, and, and we're still saying that 10 years later. That's right. There hasn't been another one. Fair enough, fair you enough. Know? Except if it's you know, punters and, and kickers and the like. But so I want to I fade Washington. I, I want to fade Washington because I think someone knows something. The betting markets say Washington's in trouble here with their quarterback, all right? And it does. But the problem is, I, so I go to my season wins, all right? And, I, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to play Washington under eight and a half. Well, no eight and a halfs anymore. Now it's under eight, and it's like um, it's lay a dollar fifteen. I mean, eight. They could win eight without him, you know, if right. Cousins comes back. So how to get this bet derivative betting? You're gonna love this one. Give it to me. I just bet this an hour ago at the beautiful win you here, hear Johnny Avello. I bet they have a yes, no, and every team to make the playoffs. They have no minus one forty five, and people are like, oh, minus one forty five, paying a lot of big no, beyond cheap, because. 
if the Redskins win nine games, they sail over their season win number. And they're I'm, probably not making the playoffs. The NFC, not at nine and seven. Not, it's not getting you in. And not in the, in the, the NFC with all you got. You, you got San Fran and Seattle, just, you know, right off the bat. Yeah. There, there's one wild card. So you know somebody else is going to win ten games. Green Bay. Maybe, maybe everyone tanks in that division. I doubt it because you got four. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're, you you are not going to make the playoffs nine and seven. No. In the, in the NFC, maybe, but not in the NFC. If you look at the way that you know the season wins are. So I I think I I just basically played them under nine and a half late. $1.45. That's a smart way to hit it. Light years better than playing under eight. I know? agree. I agree. And, and listen, when you look at this team, I mean, uh, their average at wide receiver with Pierre Garçon, Morgan, Santana Moss was a number one. Now he's a number three wide receiver. You have Fred Davis, a tight end who was lost after seventh week last season with an Achilles uh, rupture. You don't know how he's going to come back. That's usually one of those nagging injuries that guys never recover from. Offensive de set, uh, defensive line in the trenches. This team's decent, not great. They're good at middle linebacker and outside linebacker. They got stud linebackers, I give you that. But this is one of the weakest secondaries in all of the NFC, and they didn't do anything in the offseason to improve They it. got the coolest Nothing guy at all. Brian Arapo. I love that. I, yeah, yeah, he yeah. That's what I'm saying. They're, they're, their linebackers are studs. Riley Fletcher, Arapo, they're, they're, they're studs. They're studs. No, no, I'm going to make this official. Washington Redskins, I'm looking how to fade them. We're going to fade them at the beautiful Las Vegas win. We are going to, <laughs> the Las Vegas win. At the beautiful win, Las Vegas, we're going to go under. We're going to go no to make the playoffs. I laid a dollar 45. I'm sure they moved it to minus 150, 155, somewhere in that range beyond cheap. The Redskins are not going to make the playoffs this year. They might win eight or nine games. I don't see how they possibly can get to 10 wins, given I do not believe RG3 is going to be ready to go to start the year. Kirk Cousins is also injured, and he's a very capable backup but he wouldn't be able to to to, uh, to to win more than maybe 40 45 percent of his games so I think it's a really really solid bet not to mention I love playing at the win so you got the um, the plus going over there as well it's like I, I think it's one of the strongest bets I made all week long I like it down with RG3 this year these doesn't I, I, I love the guy last season but he doesn't look healthy one more I could before we, we we sign off here I got I got to leave you with the win story I played this poker hand so bad give it to me oh my god at the win? At the win. I stop in. I play for half an hour. And by the way, the guys at the South, they have this great 2-5-10 no-limit game, $10 straddle at the South the South Coast, all right? And they keep inviting me. <laughs> we, need you, we need you to show up. And uh, Hollis over there is like, where's Fezzik? Where's Fezzik? I'm ducking. What is RJ. it? A 5-10 no-limit? 2-5 five no five no-limit with no a $10 mandatory straddle. And I'm like, I'm just too busy. I'm going to be handicapped. So they're all saying I'm ducking them. So Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, I will be there. I will be there. So, But, but this is the t why they want me there. So I raise with kings, all right? Standard raise. I get, I get three cards. It's so bad, it's like embarrassing. I got a $500 stack and a uh, short stack, 5-10 game. Where were you sitting? At the win. I was in early position, okay. seven-handed. And then, so the pot's $120, three callers. The flop comes 8-8-3, eight, eight, two hearts, all right? So I fire Do you have out. any heart? I hand? don't have any hearts. I, I fire an $80 bet. I get a caller, and then a guy goes all in for 700 And I go into the tank, and I think, Boy, someone could have an eight. But what would they really push all in with the eight, you know? And certainly he could be on a flush draw. The guy to my left could have jacks. He could have nines. He wants to see what's happening. I go in the tank, and I'm worried, and I call. Oh. Next guy goes all in also. Long story, he's got pocket threes. He's flopped the boat. The first guy has a 10 of diamonds. He's got trip eights. And the turn comes a king. All right? And so I win. So I flip up my cards. And, and the guy who would have won, he says, nice hand, which I know is, is you know, what, what that means. Yeah, nice yeah. suck out, Donkey. Yeah, yeah, you can't yeah, play yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you are the worst poker player yeah. in the history of the planet. Yeah, yeah. But nice hand. Yeah. And even worse. So I triple up, all right? I wait for, for the orbit to go around. It's in my big blind. I'm like, time to it's go. A, I'm out. I'm out. I love like, doing that. If I can't that. play with 50 big blinds, I, I obviously can't do play with 160. So terrible, terrible hand for me. And, 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 and I always preach, don't go broke with top pair. And then, pfft, I don't I, know what I was thinking. I would have came over the top on him, though, too. I mean, if, it depends how long I played with him, if I thought he was not aggressive against, or not. Fine against that's one the, guy. Against two, that's the problem. That's there was someone the after you to act. That's yeah. where the, so move, the, the bad I, move. And I've been reading so much. I see people doing the squeeze play where they try to squeeze two people. That so was the got, bad move. Oh, 
horrendous. So I'm done with poker. No more poker. I'm busy. I mean, poker's been very good. But um, sports, all sports. Guys over at the South Coast, eat I your, will see you. Say your prayers, eat your vitamins. I will see you on a New Year's <laughs> Day, as they like to say with the uh, in the music industry. So uh, thanks for tuning in with us at uh, pregame.tv. We will be having football, football, and more football throughout the year. Cannot wait. This is going to be a special season. Thank you for tuning in each and every week. It's our pleasure to be able to be in studio and, uh, and go ahead and have the privilege to uh, have a little fun. And I've got to put the jackets on. Put on the jacket, baby. This might be the last baby. week of the T-shirt. You got the, the wardrobe. You got the wardrobe. Baseball, here we go.